There's my game. Whoop. Get that out of here. And that. And that. Uh, oh, okay. Wait. What? Sorry, my, <laughs> my stream UI is confusing me. There we go. Okay. There's my chat. <sighs> yes. There. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Dumb Ways to Die. Hopefully, we can have a nice, uh, a nice chill stream tonight. I'm kind of tired, but uh, I wanted to stream anyway. And we'll see. We'll see if I last the full two hours. <laughs> I probably will. I remember I started dozing off a little bit at the end of one of my previous Broken Sword streams, but uh, hopefully that won't happen tonight. So, let's... Let's get started with some nice... Nice, chill, relaxing, point-and-click adventure game goodness. Hello, Bax ZTT. Uh, yeah, that one. Restore. What just happened? Oh, okay. So when we left off, um, I went to Spain and I uh, helped this uh, countess... Um, also, I realize... Wait, hold on. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I had like three thoughts at once and then a sneeze tried to barge its way through all of them. Um, I remembered that last time I was complaining about the way they were they were uh, pronouncing uh, the Countess's name. Uh, de Vascon they were saying it de Vasconcelos. And I was complaining about the CE being pronounced with the ch sound, which is wrong. It doesn't... In Spanish, it doesn't do that. That's an Italian thing. In Spanish, it should be C. It should just be the soft C. Vasconce Vasconcelos. And then I remembered, wait, that's a double L. It should be Seyos. <laughs> so I was pronouncing it wrong even when I was correcting it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. It should be de Vasconcelos. Or something along those lines. And I'm an idiot for not realizing that at the time. But anyway... We helped the Countess de Vasconcellos. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's the kind of thing that someone like me loses sleep over. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we helped her uh, solve a puzzle involving her ancestors uh, who were one of the Templars. Like, yeah, there was like a whole thing about her ancestors being with the Templars or being one of the members of the Templars and we found this cup hidden in her uh, in the mausoleum of her ancestors and hello mine cozy yeah we're we're a few hours into the game by now so the chalice from the mausoleum yeah. was obviously of superior workmanship but grimy and tarnished cool um I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Um, let me go talk to Nico and see if she has any thoughts. I mean, if I'm going to nitpick about the pronunciation of a, of it's a word... It's me again. Hi, Josh. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to nitpick about the pronunciation of a word, then I better get it right. <laughs> Or else I just look like an idiot. Saying, this is wrong, and then doing it wrong myself. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one prawn shot of a paella. The Countess is a fine lady. Paella. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that Countess. Are you serious? She's old enough to be my grandmother. What are you, jealous, Nico? 
Hey, thank you, Muckerfort. That is, holy shit, three years indeed. Damn. Um. What do you think the purpose of this tripod is? I'm not sure. Do you want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Oh, that's nice that he actually gets up from the couch and goes over there. <laughs> I was wondering if he would just, uh, if we just pull up the manuscript page while he's over there on the couch. Nice attention to, de de to detail there, game. Good. I approve. Is the cup anywhere in here? I don't think it is. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the cup, now that I have it. <laughs> yes. There's anything new here? Hmm. I guess I'll just wander around and um. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. And show this cup to people and see if anybody says anything about it. Cause you know, just walking around and showing priceless artifacts to. Randos on the street is a great way to go about things. I haven't talked to this lady in forever. Let's go, let's talk to her again. Oh hi. Hello, my handsome friend. Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man, tall and thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden, but I saw his eyes peering from evil little slits. How was he dressed? A long brown raincoat with a hat. Or like Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. <laughs> Besides, this guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his buttocks like that. <laughs> and why, may I ask, were you so interested in his buttocks? In fact, you know what? I'm not going to ask. <laughs> Do you know what this tripod was used for? I couldn't imagine. Paella itself is not a seafood. Paella without seafood is still paella. Oh, thank you for that. Yay for nitpicks. I love them. Hmm. Usually. Maybe not. Does this powder mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. What do you make of this gem? Very nice, Cherie. A present for your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Nonsense. You and her were made for each other. I believe you. You can see the future, after all. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Thank you, yes. Good evening to you, too. And I hope the same for you and for everyone else. Oh, it's, uh, it's tiring. I'm, I'm tired. I think we're all tired. But, uh... Part of that is why I, I wanted to stream tonight because I want, I want to, I want to chill with some with some nice, uh, relaxing adventure games and and uh, hope you guys also would like to would 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 benefit from 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 a nice relaxing adventure game. Uh, let's see, where should we go? Uh, I guess let's go talk to the police. I know, it's a bad idea, but <laughs> let's do it anyway. Let's get it out of the way. Excuse me. What do you want now? What do you think of this chalice, Sergeant? Hmm, not much. It's over 600 years old. It looks it. I wouldn't drink from that rusty old thing if I was you. <laughs> I didn't steal it, she gave it to me. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. I don't know why. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. I don't know why she gave it to me, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but, uh... It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. <laughs> sure. She did, I swear. <laughs> Thank you, Moo. What now, monsieur? Uh... No, I can't actually show it to him. 
All right, well, never mind. So long, Inspector. I just called you out here to stare into your eyes. I'm gonna call Nico, just for fun. See what she says. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's a bunch more stuff on here than there used to be. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I can't actually... They drew like a Picasso next to her name. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, interesting. So I guess the only no number I can call is this guy, who I don't think I need to talk to, and Nicole. Who is this? It's George. Are you okay? Yes, I am fine. He's <laughs> just, uh, for the seventeenth time, I'm fine. Hi, Nico. I know I just left your apartment like five minutes ago, but are you okay? <laughs> George is like the clingiest boyfriend. And he's not even her boyfriend. Yet. I know where things are going. I can see the writing on the wall. Totally gonna be your boyfriend eventually. Yeah! <laughs> I don't want to seem too eager, but I want to talk to her. <laughs> Attachment issues. Yeah, he's like a dog. <laughs> I haven't seen her in... I don't even know how long. Where is she? Pardon me. We miss you? Does this old cut mean anything to you? Nothing, monsieur. Thanks for your help. I think I already talked to him about the coins. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What do you make of this cup, André? It's a 14th century communion vessel. Spanish, probably. You sure know your onions. <laughs> I know, right? Me too. Like, they somehow put it back up exactly as it was after that ridiculous debacle the other night. You'd think that it would be like, like maybe the fish would be cracked or something, but no, it's perfectly fine. Gorilla glue, yeah. <laughs> that stuff fixes everything. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Actually, just so that I don't Pardon leave. me? We oui, miss you? Just so that I leave no stones unturned. What can you tell me about the collection of coins? A rare example of silver coinage from the reign of uh, Philippe Le Bel. That little old lay buried for centuries in a field on the outskirts of Paris. They're unique. Nothing like them has been found anywhere else in Europe. Oh, interesting. So I just keep asking about them. All right, weird. Thanks for your help. Okay. Well, nothing new from those guys. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, man, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, here we go. Uh, is that the clown? I kind of don't think it is, but... No, it definitely isn't. Hello uh, again, officer. Hello again, monsieur. Because we saw the clown in the, uh, in the intro sequence. He didn't look like that. What does this chalice suggest to you? Wine. <laughs> I knew it. I was wondering if we were going to have to, like, switch his, his, uh, his uh, glass of wine with this one for some reason, but I don't think we're going to have to I'll see that. you around. Oui, monsieur. I'll be there. Bothers me that he says I'll be there instead of I'll be here. You will clearly be here. You haven't moved. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. There was a small crowd of five sightseers. It's a weird thing, but you can take the most intelligent people in the world, put them in their vacation duds, and hey presto, they look like morons. Why is that? <laughs> 
The juggler was good. Why he couldn't put that kind of application into getting a real job, I had no idea. Hey. Maybe he just liked dressing up like a horse's ass. Being a clown is a real job. <laughs> the vessel with the pestle has the brew that is true. Wait, uh, wait, flagging with, flagging with the dragon. The pestle has the pellet with the poison. Or, oh, oh, pellet with the poison, yes. Flagging with the dragon has the brew that is true. Thank you, yes. <laughs> but uh, the court jester is my boyfriend's favorite movie, so whenever anyone uh, quotes that, I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I hadn't seen it before he showed it to me, and it was it's real good. I, I agree that it's a excellent movie. Hey, you with the balls. <laughs> We. Oui. I almost snorted my tea. <laughs> way to way to start a conversation, George. Um, what you doing? How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle. That makes you a juggler. No, I am a jongleur. <laughs> a jongler? What's that? Mon dieu! A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aeroballetic mysteries. Contragravitic? In centuries past, the courts of the crowned of Europe had the jongleurs, witty, erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Our enemies are at the borders. <laughs> Plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jongler to throw his <laughs> balls around. I don't think so. George, you were the worst. <laughs> I like this clown guy. He's clearly, he clearly knows what he's doing. Also, I have something in my eye. Sorry, hold on. Ow. There we go. I got it. Yes, jongleur is a real word. I was actually not entirely clear on what it meant. Like, I, I, I was like, is it the French word for juggler? But like, that seems too obvious. It's gotta be like, it's gotta be a false cognate. But no, apparently it is. Okay, so now I know. Thank you for confirming that. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. <laughs> oh, it does not. Does it not? Riot. Perhaps you feel you could do better. No. I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. Why, George? But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? What is your problem, George? <laughs> a lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. George, what are you trying to accomplish here? Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Can confirm. Juggling is hard. My... Well, I, I, my dad taught me how to juggle. Uh, although I wasn't... I, I didn't really get it. Uh, I didn't really catch on how to do it. But then, uh, at my high school, there was actually a juggling club that I joined so that I could actually learn how to juggle. And for some reason, I don't know, like somehow, like... They basically taught me the same thing that my dad did, but it, like, I guess it clicked more in my brain or I was able to, to process it better. I don't know why. But yeah, between my dad and the juggling club in my high school, I learned how to juggle. Um, I can only do three balls. I can also do um, a six ball passing if I have someone to do it with. And that's about it. <laughs> I can't really do any more than that. My dad is much better at it than I am. Right? Like, why do you think... It's like, you, Yeah, like, this one clown has traumatized him and just uh, ruined his, his view of clowns forever. What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? 
Ah, the last grandmaster, Jacques Dumoulin, was burned. <laughs> Zero for On an swords. island in the Seine in 1314. Wow. You're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. <laughs> I know, I, li I like the idea of, like, a super smart, like, university-educated uh, guy. He's like, he's like, you know, master's degree in history, and he just is a, is a, and he just spends his days working as a clown juggling on the street for tourists. Look, a red nose. Ah, you are a clown. A clown? No. If so, you would be a much better jongleur. For a moment, an idea capered around near the spotlight of my attention, but fell down the pothole of abstraction before I could focus on it. <laughs> what an odd sentence. I know, Grit Star. Sorry I could not uh, watch your stream this morning. My internet refused to let me, and I was sad. Have you seen this man before? No. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. It's like, well, I can't get a job in my actual major, so street performance it is. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Incroyable! Is it real? I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. Oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it, both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Just say it louder so everyone you can want hear. It? No, thank you. Yeah, I was about to say. He, yeah, he does have uh, pretty big ears. And yes, gigantic tongue. <laughs> Put that away. Does this lab pass mean anything to you? You work in a lab. No, try again. <laughs> you steal lab passes? <laughs> no. Well, not as a habit. This was a special case. <laughs> this gadget is a sewer key. I do not want it. Thank you. Well, I'm not selling it. I just wanted your opinion. It is hardly my area of expertise. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You smoke. No, I don't. <laughs> In that case, it means nothing to me. Does this plaster interest you? <laughs> well... Forget it. Forget that I asked. It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. Why? You already tried to embarrass him publicly. <laughs> Does this chalice mean anything to you? It is very badly designed. I would not wish to drink from such a vessel. You're not going to get the chance, Buster. Does this grease paint mean anything to you? A red nose and now grease paint? You are sure you are not a clown? Well, I was distracted by the idea again. Hmm. Caper, caper, caper. Plummet. No, nope. gone again. Hmm, there's something there. I've got a medieval tripod. And my Uncle Claude has hemorrhoids. So what? Look, a red nose. Oh, you say, whoop de doo <laughs> Does this grease paint mean anything to you? A red nose? You are Well, I was distracted. Caper? Hmm. Hmm. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I have a feeling that, like, I'm supposed to, like, pose as this clown or something along those lines. Can I do this? No. Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone! Now! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. Can I? I can't. No, I can't like put these on myself. 
No. Hmm. Hmm. No way. Uh, no. Probably can't do anything here. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Hmm. No. Per disciplinum meum lux videbis. A bit of a stained glass window. Wow. Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. Yeah, again, I think we're not supposed to do this just yet. I didn't have time to sit around. A row of old pews, beautifully carved and glowing with polish. I thought of all the people, all those per firm, the flat, that. Whoa! <laughs> you know what, I don't want to listen to George talking, thinking about butts. The juggler was good. Why he couldn't put that... Maybe he just... An architectural echo of the gallows that once used to stand here. An architect... I had no... Hello again. Oh. Hello? Oh. Ah. Here we go. What do you think of the juggler? Ah, he is excellent, most watchable. But he's blocking the thoroughfare and obstructing traffic. So? He is amusing. The traffic isn't. <laughs> if he wants to block it, who am I to say no? You're a cop. Ah, oui. So I am. Ah. Well, <laughs> I like this guy. So you're not going to do anything about this guy? No. He probably doesn't even have a license. Ah, a license. This I had not considered. So what are you going to do? The instant I return to the station, I shall check. Return to the station? Why not just ask him? And spoil his concentration? What kind of a barbarian do you take me for? Ah, you are a clown. Sure. Do I look like a clown? No, although you juggle like one. Now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing. And not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Who ever heard of a plain clothes clown? He had a point. So you're saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic <laughs> loon. Oui, monsieur. You have it. Okay. 
So I need some weird clothes. Ooh, I wonder if that costume shop is open again. Does this red no- No. What do you make- Delightful. Hell no. Then. I'll see you around. Oui, monsieur. It is not open. Damn. Uh, can I go anywhere at the airport? Uh, no, I cannot. Cafe? This guy? Hello again. Uh, yes, Inspector. Hmm. Maybe not. I have to be go. Good luck. I can borrow. I don't know why she would. It's me again. Hi, George. Mm, nope. I have to. Okay. Hey, it could work. Oh, hi. Hello. Nope. See you later. That's right. Maybe I just have to talk to the clown again. It seems to be, uh... kind of a pattern in this game where like if you talk to somebody about something um, further conversational options are unlocked on the same screen if they are unlocked at all <laughs> that's Hi true again. oui what is it this time ah here we go I'd like to have another try at juggling please you have gone on a crash course perhaps no, I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, monsieur. <laughs> Cake or death? Okay, <laughs> now for my secret weapon. <laughs> the juggler was speechless with rage. You could have mistaken him for a mime. And without a word, he collected his balls and left in a fury. Hey! You forgot one of your balls! Hey! But he didn't hear. Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. All right, then. Okay, that was a very strange puzzle progression, but whatever. There was a small crowd of, it's a weird thing. Put them in there, they look like m I had no desire to talk. I, I'm not entirely clear either. 
apparently I made myself look like an idiot with such a plum that the crowd loved it and the clown hated it. The clown got pissed off that I... It was the glass the gendarme had left behind. Stole his spotlight and left. There was no need to take the wine glass. Ooh, but... Wait, can I... No? Okay. It was the bright red ball I'd got from the juggler. Not intimidated so much as... Yeah, me too. Like, he was perfectly fine just sitting around without any entertainment before the clown showed up, but whatever. Adventure game logic. <laughs> the important thing is I can get in here now. For some reason. With these people watching me. This game seems to suffer a lot from the problem of, like, I don't know why I'm doing these things. I'm just doing them because I can and figuring out why later. Which is not great puzzle design. Yep. <laughs> well, bye folks. Alright, sweet. Another part of the sewer. What is this contraption? Why is there a sewer boat? What is this? Oh, are these like... Were these like dungeons or something? I've absolutely played Monkey Island. Yeah, I played the entire series. And that game was better at, at like... A weird little boat lay tied up. I guess they used it to get maintenance crews around. Either that or the Phantom of the Opera was somewhere <laughs> near. <laughs> that game was better about actually like making you, making you understand here's what you have to do, figure out how to do it. This game is more like, figure out what you have to do by doing random things. <laughs> there was a handle in the boat that fed out chain with a hook on the end. There were three arches, each with an inscription. What say the they? wall had flaked, and anything once written on it had long since gone. Hmm. The inscription was hard to read, but I made out Templier and something about innocence. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Close up, I could see a faded inscription. My medieval French isn't much, but the few words I understood seem to say this is where the gallows used to stand maybe that's true yeah the red herring was pretty that that was a that was that was not a great puzzle because it kind of relies on your like all you really know about that puzzle is that the troll wants something and then he kind of hints at it in like one of in one of his dialogues but it's not super clear, like, what you're supposed to do to get past him. There is, there's, there's an echo in a lot of places in this game, not necessarily uh, the appropriate places. But yeah, I mean, it, it works here, so that's good. What is that thing? It's a hook. A hook dangled from the end of a heavy-duty chain. Okay, yeah, maybe that's why we, ha my, why we have opposite experiences, because I kind of grew up on Monkey Island. And I'm only playing Broken Sword now. I should, um, I do want to replay the Monkey Island series. Um, and I'll, when I do, I'll take another look at it. And I'll, I'll try to, like, kind of look at it objectively and, and, um, and see if I can, po if I can identify any instances where it's doing this thing that I'm complaining about now. Where it's like, you're just doing things to do them and without understanding why you're doing them. Um. There were, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of adventure games fall into that trap, like, some more than others. It's a pretty common uh, uh, failing of, of adventure game puzzle design, I think, which may be why some people don't like adventure games. <laughs> the hook was held rigidly by the tightly wound chain. 
Alrighty. Well, let's mess with it then. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad you liked it. I should do, uh, yeah, it's June now, so I better start doing some more drawings. I also, uh, I need more stamps, though, before I can send out any more. Because I do not have any. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I guess it depends on what kind of player you are, because I'm the sort of p person who will poke my nose into everything, um, so I'm pretty likely to have found... Uh, explanations as to why I'm going where I'm going or what I'm doing what I'm what I'm doing um, if there are any to be found but not all the time um, but yeah if you're just like if you're if you're if you're not really diligent about about looking everywhere then um, then yeah it's easy to miss stuff the hook lay in a bed of chain Actually, hang on. I actually forgot which one I sent you. I'm gonna look at my my photos because I take photos of the drawings that I do. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> cool. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, okay. Cool. So I have a hook now, I guess, or. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm like, okay. So the hook needs to come with me. Somewhere. Um. No? Hmm. On the boat was a winching machine. Hmm, can I like go somewhere in this boat? How do I how do I go somewhere? What well, crimes? Uh well we basically pissed off. The recent showers had made the levels rise a little, but at least the place didn't smell so much. All we really did was um piss off a clown. <laughs> What's a guy supposed to do with a sewer? Don't answer that. <laughs> If I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. If the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. Now, I wasn't so sure. Hmm. Okay, it's long jump time. Oh shit. Wait, I should have saved. No! Don't do that. Here goes. Damn it. Do I look crazy or something? <laughs> Well, okay, thank you for not killing me, but I should have saved. <laughs> well, everything he says is in the past tense. When he's, um, when he's talking about stuff. Uh. It's your time. Oh, God, I wish. <laughs> Come on, George. Well, wait, but he's clearly on the side of the Templars, so... <laughs> uh, okay, so I think what I have to do, maybe, is something like this. Oh god, no! Oh, that, that hurts. That hurts me. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Huh. Okay. So I, I, hmm. Pick up the chain, but then I can't do anything with it. There's got to be something I can do with this chain. But what?
Oh. <laughs> to be fair, this game is... Deaths in this game are pretty few and far between, so if you've gone that far without dying, you might not think it's possible. Which is, I mean, in that regard, I, I uh, that's kind of why I prefer games that just kill you all the time, because then you expect it. <laughs> As opposed to games like this, or like Gabriel Knight, where you spend, you know, 80% of the game perfectly fine, and then you try one thing, and it's like, oh hey, you died, and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Can I do something with this chain with a hook? What am I supposed to do with this red ball, I wonder? Yeah. I haven't even played the remastered, and I agree. Cause I, mainly just because I love adventure game deaths. <laughs> Electrocute, let's electrocute the hook. Oops. Uh. The OG goat from hell. <laughs> Wait, they removed the goat? No, they didn't remove the goat from the remaster, did they? Or they just made him easier? What? Do, yeah, what do they do with the goat in the remaster? Because I know I've seen images of the goat from the remaster. So it's clear he must be in it. Mid trivial. Ah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see why they did that, because that's a terrible puzzle. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a goat, like, several streams ago. The infamous goat of, of Broken Sword. One of the, uh... One of the puzzles generally considered as, like, one of the hardest puzzles in all of adventure games. It was back in Ireland. No, it can't kill George. Although I kind of wish it could. <laughs> huh. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with that wine, too, but what? I'm gonna dunk all my inventory items in it. And then I guess I'll go around and show this red ball to everybody. The stupid brick. Oh. That's a, yeah, that's a pretty bad one, too. I would say the goat is more infamous than that, yes. Probably around the level of the cat hair mustache puzzle from Gabriel Knight 3. Maybe not as bad, but near there. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll talk to this guy who never has anything important to say. Uh, two is the one with the wolves. Hello again. Uh, yes, Inspector. Three is the one with the vampires. What do you think of my ball? Ah, I am a little too old for games, Monsieur. I have to be going. Good luck.
Um, no? The first one has mummies. That's kind of zombies. <laughs> Yeah. Two is really good. I, I love two. Excuse me. What do you want now? It's like... It's not like good good, but it's it's kind of bad good, but it's also good good. Look what I found, Sergeant Boo. It is a ball. The ball of a child. You're half right, but this is no toy, Sergeant Moo. Don't tell me. The juggler is back. The juggler? Who's he? The most cunning circus performer turned pickpocket in Paris. He mesmerizes his audience with an unarguably talented but mind-numbing display of juggling, while his accomplice goes through the crowd and empties their pockets. I thought we'd seen the last of him. His accomplice, huh? Who's his accomplice? Would you like to keep this ball as evidence, Sergeant? No, thank you. Straight for the juggler. <laughs> is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. God, I can only imagine the French voiceover in a game that's like... like it's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. That's largely in German. <laughs> Thank you, Moo. What now, monsieur? Uh, that is not a good idea. It's not? Why? Uh... Okay. So long as... If you say so. Ooh, wait, can I do like a... Can I make like one of those cup and ball toys? Because I have a cup and a ball. No. Hmm. I guess I would need a string. <laughs> I have no idea why that's not a good idea. Because the game says so. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so there's Nicole. I guess I'll show her the ball. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello? What do you think of my ball? I'm picking up vibrations from it. That ball will travel far. Interesting. All right. See you later. That's right. Oh, God. Yeah. That is weird, but like, so the Assassin's Creed games at least have the, uh, have the, the, the hand wavy, um, uh, oh, it was a glitch in the animus. Explanation it's me again. for anything they do wrong, which is hilarious. Hi, Josh. Which is also how they explain why um, why Altair had like had a you know surly American accent in the first game, but then when you meet him in one of the Brotherhood games, I forget which one. Revelations, thank you. Uh, the, he has an actual proper accent, like relevant to where he's ac where he's from. Glitch in the Animus. That's why. <laughs> Would you like this juggling ball? Have you been drinking, Georges? No, why? Not yet. Because you're talking crap. <laughs> I have to go. Okay. I would like to have been drinking. <laughs> Wanna join me for a drink? Okay, well, so far, so nothing. Uh, let's go to the museum, I guess. And when we inevitably find nothing there, then I will, um, I don't know, <laughs> go back to the sewer and bang my head against things for a while. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? What does this ball mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. Thanks.
Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. What does this ball mean to you? It's a juggling ball. I love juggling. I should have guessed. Aren't you just the tiniest bit embarrassed about your love of juggling? No. Why should I be? What is your problem, George? What do you make of this cup? It's a full. You sure know. What do you make of this? It's a. You sure know your. Aren't you just the. No. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. thought that like I had noticed there was a small crack it's a put them they look I'm supposed to like throw the juggling ball somewhere you can't no okay anybody uh, any of you want to shake my hand no okay <laughs> wow I have not given up on the Assassin's Creed series yet, but I've only played uh, the first one and uh, the Ezio ones. And I have three, like, the various games around, like, the, th the, the Americas pack. And I also have four, Black Flag, which I'm really looking forward to playing. So. And I am going to get around to playing them all. Uh, after that, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to continue, if I want to, like, get any more of them. But uh, Origins looks really good, and also uh, Syndicate looks looks good. I've heard mixed reviews of that one, but it looks good anyway. And then what's the one? Um, eh, the one in set in Greece. That one looks good, too. Hey, Mitch Senna. I'm trying. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed to do with this hook? On well, the boat was a winching machine. I mean, that's all part of the, you know, the suspension of disbelief. If you're not going to accept any of those admittedly ridiculous things, then you're, you're obviously not going to have any fun. And the later games kind of do it better. Like, the, I, I agree, like, the, the first one kind of make, makes some very silly decisions. Um, but I played through it anyway, and then after that, they kind of realized, okay, some of that was stupid, let's make it better. Odyssey, thank you. Yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, let's see, what the heck? On the boat. A weird little boat lay tied up. I guess they used it to get maintenance crews around. Either that or the fan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, funny you mentioned Batman Arkham Asylum. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Assassin's Creed Origins has that cool, like, tourist mode. Although I'm, admittedly, I I don't want it for that. I just I want to actually play the game. I mean, not that Tourist Mode is not playing the game, but I think it's cool that they're adding stuff like that to games now. I think, um... There was some other game I was just playing recently that had something similar. I think it's God of War. 
I think the PS4 God of War has something like that too, where you don't actually fight, you just like wander around the world. Maybe I'm mixing that up with a different game. I don't know. Uh, what do I do? What's the point of being here? I don't get it. Oh, yeah. Well, you do get a cutscene later in, in uh, one of the Ezio games. Close up, I could see a faded inscription. My medieval French isn't much, but the few words I understood seemed to say, this is where the gallows used to stand. Maybe. The inscription was hard to read, but I made out Templier and something about innocence. Historical inaccuracies. Okay. Funny that that's the reason. <laughs> okay, yeah. The inscription was undecipherable. The plaster had cracked and was falling away. I wondered why. <laughs> Wait. Can I, like... The inscription... I wonder... That's hollow! Yeah. It was time for some brutal destruction. Oh, George. Oof. Aha. I'd poked a hole in an historical site. If any archaeologists came by, they'd lynch me for this. Eek. Close up, I could see the plaster was thinner where I'd broken through. And behind it were some cogs and a lever. Oh. Here goes. Hey, cool! Inside the hole, I could see one of the cogs had come loose and jammed the mechanism solid. I'd pulled the lever right over. Inside the... Hmm, I think now was probably the time for the hook. Oops, wait. The hook? <laughs> Well, from what I've been playing of, uh, of God of War so far, um, PS4 God of War, uh, the Nor all, all the or all or most of the Norse mythology mentioned in it is is pretty accurate. Although I can't say anything about like actual Viking culture because that's not really what the game is about. But yeah, that would be cool. Like, I, well, I mean, so I, th I think I learned recently is that Viking isn't. Um, it's not a name for a people, it's a name for a job. Like, you're, you're like a Norseman and you go Viking. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, Vi Viking is what they did, not who they were. <laughs> Inside the hole. Uh, oh, and then I want to do this. I thought that was a neat little tidbit. Nice! Destroy that whole entire wall. <laughs> cool. Actually, I want to say before I go in there. I have a... oops. I feel like... Uh, oop, that might be a good idea. Less destructive than Indian Jones and Laura Croft. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what what the present like. I, I don't know if Vike is the actual term for it, but uh, but yeah, more or less. The door mechanism was trashed. Whose fault is that? It would take a blacksmith or an engineer to do anything with that. This looks cool. There was a crack in the wall. Through it, 
I could see a glimmer of natural light. Look at this background. I love this. This is such a cool environment. In the beginning was the end. What? An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. Report. The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. I recognize that we have guy. successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Good. Mademoiselle? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major government. What is his accent? They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. What is his, his accent? Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. The millennium is almost upon us and everything is in place for the rise of our new, new order. Almost. Professor, where is the broken sword? I'll drop. Oh. As we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These are the Templars? Must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pegram. Pegram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near and failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashim. <laughs> He's con. an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword, manuscript or no. We have already found another element actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Oh, that's of the course. Doctor. 
That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I feel so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. So that guy who was talking, uh, he was in the hotel uh, earlier. And then, yeah, the guy next to him was um, the doctor in the hospital, and the other people we have not met yet. Yeah, South African, maybe. I, I was thinking maybe German, like a very, very inaccurate German accent. But, yeah, wow, I don't know what he was going for there. Do they have anything else to say? This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. As the new millennium will belong to us. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princess of this world! <laughs> That's a good face, George. Wow. All of them crammed into that tiny little boat. Okay, Boofer. <laughs> Yes, we are somewhere different. We, we busted our way through an ancient carving in a very uh, archaeological manner. <laughs> and now we're in here. Listening to a bunch of Templars conspire loudly. What's down this way? It looks cool. If this was a Sierra game, those stairs would kill me about six times before I got down there. <laughs> Stair quest, I'm looking at you. Man, that'd be a great staircase for a stair quest game, actually. <laughs> for the next stair quest game. Oh god, I wonder what would have happened if I'd just gone down here while they were talking. Hold on. Wait. I want to see what happens if I do that. Yeah, he kind of does. It's a little bit Don Bluthy with his expressions. Okay. So then let's restore to here. And if I just waltz down this way. <laughs> hey. I could hear voices from the lit area. Thank you for the gift sub Cornelu. So generous of you. Your voices. Let's just this was it. The conspiracy was revealed. Okay, nobody move. I'm making a citizen's arrest. <laughs> At last, I had them. <laughs> I could see the fear in their eyes as their little scheme came to pieces. You're all going away for a very long time. And you can just drop those <laughs> guns. You're impressing nobody. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that 
That was great. <laughs> I'm very happy with that death. <laughs> All right, let's see. On the circle's circumference were the Templar seal and two Latin phrases. Non omnis moriar and clarior a tenebris. I shall not die completely, the brighter from the darkness. Hmm. Interesting. There was a large circle marked out on the floor with a stump in the middle. <laughs> Around the circle, I could see words inlaid into the stone. Yeah, Templar. The water seemed to belong to an underground river or something. It was way too deep to belong to the catacombs. Another one. Thank you again, Cornelu. You're on a roll. In the middle of the circle was a stump of stone, a shaft of daylight from the world above, lancing down to touch it. Oh, that's from, uh, that's from Quest for Glory 2, uh, when you buy your Saurus, um, which is your desert mount. Uh, you buy it, and uh, you go meet it, and it comes over to you and licks your face. It is great. I noticed three small notches around the edge of the stump's top. Hmm. I noticed three... Yeah. It's a big old lizardy thing that uh, that will take you through the desert. Except it uh, except it throws you off when a monster shows up and it and it uh, and it runs away. <laughs> because of reasons. Oh, three small notches. Duh. Tripod. <laughs> in the middle of the circle, a shaft... Wait. In the middle of the circle was a stump of stone. A shaft of daylight from the world above, lancing down to touch it. Right. Tripod. Gem. <laughs> a source with no name. The light, falling from above, struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays, and each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the seal, I could read M-A-R-I-B, Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. Hmm. Back to Miko. I found a word. Nico, I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knights Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. The bogus doctor was there. The guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. And how does the assassin fit into all this? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. Men and the woman. assassin killed him for the manuscript to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So... How do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria. But they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I, they did. I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod, directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M A. R. I. B. Marib is a village in Syria. Lounge. Then the Neo Templars are ahead of us. Klausner beat me to it. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay. What about the tripod? 
I'll send it back to Andre anonymously. Hmm. So now I should leave the gem here. What are why are you are you no longer tempted to sell it? Uh I don't think I have anything new to talk to her about. Do you think I should go to Marib? Sorry, it's a long way, Georges. In other words, yes, get out of my hair. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to Marib then. To the airport. <gasps> I don't know. We have, we, we've been asking that for like, for several streams. <laughs> no idea where he gets his money. Wow, that kid looks angry. The rifle looked dangerous to the user. An old executive toy and a cheap plaster statuette. There didn't seem much helpful around here. Yeah, I guess so. There were some great bargains on the shelf, providing you ran a junk museum. The stand was being watched by a young boy, maybe 12 years old. <laughs> it was the sort of bell you see in hotel receptions. Uh, kind of unexpected here. Oh, there's a kitty on the table. The cat was an ugly brute who looked like he owned the joint. That's not an ugly brute, it's a cute kitty. Kitty. Yes, pet cat. Ah. Ah. Bad tempered as well as ugly. As I didn't see the point of going all the way over there to get scratched, I stayed where I was. <laughs> Embarrassed as I am to admit it, you can spot an American tourist a mile off. How did this guy make a living selling useless old machine parts in the middle of nowhere? I know, right? Why would you insult a kitty? It was a guess, but I figured the woman to be an American tourist. Just call me Sherlock. I didn't really want to lug the rifle around with me. I had neither the money nor the desire to buy any of that garbage. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. Oh, hello. Okay. The stand was being... Hey there, young fella. Speaky you the English? Oh, God. Speaky you the Anglaise? Oof. Uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Wow, George. Yes, see, si, and indeed, we, oui. and rather better than you by the sound of it. <laughs> my name is Nijo. Welcome to my grand emporium of quality merchandise. Grin. I mean, George, you could have at least tried to, you know, use a language that is spoken in Syria, maybe? Not, like, horrible, broken attempts at, uh, Italian and French. <laughs> he really is. You suck, George. So, this is your stand? Oh, yes, sir. Though stand does not begin to do it justice. The finest in this bustling metropolis. This is a bustling metropolis? Well, not per se, no. Yeah. It's funny, actually, because... So, I'm, now I'm reminded of, uh, of Gabriel Knight 2, um, where Gabriel actually plays up the I'm an idiot American to, um, to his advantage, and he actually uses it to, like, you know, to make, to make people underestimate him. 
and it works. And George is not doing that. <laughs> George is just being a dumbass. <laughs> How much are those books there on the shelf? Have you any Syrian pounds? I think I might have a couple of Irish pun. Then they're too expensive for you, sir. You speak very good English. Thank you, sir. I learned from tapes that my uncle procured. Oh, a language course. No, sir. Jeeves and Wooster. Excellent. Cassie, Fink, Nottle, Aunt Agatha, what ho? <laughs> How very British. That's not a very friendly cat you got there, Nijo. No, sir. It is a very unfriendly cat. Why do you keep it? Oh, it's not mine. It just rests where it pleases. And today, it pleases to rest there. As Kipling would say, <laughs> it is a cat that walks by itself. Fiercely independent. And it smells. <laughs> is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed. A roaring fellow. Ayub's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. He didn't say a word when he came out. Does the word Templar mean anything to you? Templar. Ah, Templar. <gasps> Templar. Why, yes, of course. It does? Yes. A splendid series of books by Mr. Leslie Chatteris. Featuring the roguish Th Mr. Simon Templar. Great. That's a real help, Nijo. Anything else? The Saint television program featuring Mr. <laughs> Roger Moore of the quizzical eyebrow. And a stick man with a halo. Bing! What? <laughs> so all Templar means to you is Roger Moore. I only watched it for the stick man with the halo. Bing! He was better animated. Bing! <laughs> so, I'm correct in saying that the word Templar doesn't mean much to you. Well, there was the Order of Knights who were wiped out in an Inquisition in 1312, I suppose. That's them. What else do you know? Just how much information do you think there is on a Trivial Pursuit <laughs> card? A what? <laughs> From the medieval edition. <laughs> We had it on the stand a couple of years ago. Ask me what a future is. Go on, I know all this stuff. Uh, never mind. <laughs> this kid is the best. <laughs> okay, forget about the Templars for a minute. What do you know about knights? Like the Crusaders, they came to the East on an insane and pointless mission. They sacrificed Thousands of lives, including their own, for insensate pride. How anyone can find them romantic confounds me. I think uh, this kid and Liam from Ireland need to hang out together. I think they'd be good friends. What do you make of this? Hmm. A man-sized double ply tissue stained with Bestheimer's number 12 white pancake grease paint, apparently. Wow. <laughs> what do you think of this? Excellent workmanship. 12th or 13th century. I wish I had things like that for sale. Here, shake hands, Nijo. I'd rather not, sir. At least not while you've got that shake and shock buzzer clumsily concealed in your palm. <laughs> oh, you noticed. Outlawed in three separate arms limitation conventions, those are. <laughs> this plaster was very useful in Ireland. Really? Your fund of traveler's tales never ceases to enthrall me. What do you make of this? Well, beyond the obvious, very little. That pattern seems very familiar, though. Look at this. A lifting key as used by Parisian sewer workers. Kalu Kalei, sir. <laughs> I must remember this day for posterity. My grandchildren will be fascinated. <laughs> Kudos for the uh, for the Jabberwocky reference there. 
Do you know the name Merlin? I'm afraid not, old bean. <laughs> Have you seen this man before? No, sir. I'm glad to say. Cold eyes. Oh, a comedian. No surprise there. What do you think of this, eh? Oh, sir. What a splendid plaything. One day, when I am rich, I am going to build a world-renowned collection of brightly colored balls. Are you serious? In deadly earnest, <laughs> people will come from far and wide to see my... Yes? ...collection. <laughs> the Rockefellers and the Gettys can keep their hordes of so-called fine art. But answer me this. What good is a Picasso, I ask you, if you cannot bounce it off a wall? You may have a point. <laughs> yep, best character in the game. Seriously, do you really think this thing's so great? Take it away, you tempter! I'll <laughs> swap it for something off your stand. Um, due to seasonal financial considerations, I'm afraid I cannot. I thought you wanted this thing. I do, sir. This stand doesn't. Which in translation meant, it's not really my stand, <laughs> and I'll be in big trouble if I swap anything for something that I want myself. Alternatively, is there any service that you require? Not at the moment, but I'll bear it in mind. Okay. What do you make of this? Well... What do you make of... Well... Okay. Hmm... You really want this ball? You know I do, sir. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Okay. Alright, so if I find anything that I need a kid to do for me, then uh, I have the means to, uh, to bribe him into doing it. What else we got over here? Aside from that tourist. The merchant was selling fruit. I decided I might have some later. The guy running the stand seemed pretty happy. People always want fruit. Marib looked pretty defendable with a high wall all around it. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. The stallholder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. It was a kebab stand, and an ugly one at that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Voluntary exchange of goods for services. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. American tourist man. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. Oh god, you're right, he is wearing sandals with socks. I didn't notice they're orange. That's kind of close to the color of his skin. Also, the color of his text makes it very hard to read. Have you talked to Nijo? Nijo? He's the youngster on that junk stand, right? Yeah, we've met him. He's a smart kid. Speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not going to find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquities in them, Doris Dam. Oh, that must be Pearl over there. Uh, I think it, it, it depends where you're from. It's a regional thing. Kebabs versus kebabs. Do you mind if I ask you an odd question? Okay, but I might not answer it. Do you know anything about the Templars? The Knights Templar? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were an order of knights. What I know and what I say are two different things, boy. <laughs> I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. <laughs> oh, please. I mean, I think they're both the ones on the stick. I don't think there's—I don't think there's a difference between like the way you pronounce them and what they are. 
I mean, rather, wait. I don't think pronouncing them differently means that they're two different things. I saw a medieval picture of a woman. But I could be wrong. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? I think you should be in therapy. I mean, that's a given. Does the image of a knight holding a crystal ball mean anything to you? Hell no. What would a knight want with a hunk of glass? I don't know. That's the prob... What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strange perspective of the manuscript. It's a lens! Oh. Interesting. Just talking it out with this rando. Help me figure something out. Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kinda lags to come all this way. Not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Why? Ow! You could've warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. That seems suspicious somehow. What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Pearl writes the poems for him. You ought to ask her to recite some. Hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it's like, because, I mean, that, that, it kind of showcases, like, yes, human beings actually work that way. You just happen to bring up something that you're thinking about and just talking about it can help you go, wait a minute. <gasps> Click. <laughs> Light bulb. <laughs> Although it's weird that it comes up when talking about, like, just some American tourist. Like, it could be anybody, really. Where is your wife, Dwayne? Pearl. Oh, she's around, looking for bargains. How long have you been married, Dwayne? Hell, must be uh, 30 years now. Nice. Let me show you all my inventory items. What do you think of this grease paint stained tissue? You've been hanging around with actors? What do you make of this chalice? That looks old. Is it for sale? Sorry. Shake hands, Dwayne. Why? I'm just being friendly. Let's just be friendly by keeping our hands to ourselves. Yeah? Says the guy who took my photo without permission. Look, I've got some plaster of Paris. Yeah, and I've got a picture of me shaking hands with George Bush. Of course, that was back in 76. Burn it! Burn it! <laughs> Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm sure someone is going to know something about this matchbook, because I'm pretty sure the matchbook is from here. What do you make of this? A manhole lifting key. So? Hey, how come you recognize it? Hey, how come you're carrying it? <laughs> yeah, well, let's just drop the subject, shall we? Touché. Do you know the name Merlin? Nope. Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers <laughs> and then asking around. I mean... Ow! Damn it! <laughs> there. I've got another picture of a complete stranger. Maybe I'll ask around about this one. That is so creepy and suspicious. <laughs> Recognize this? A clown's red nose. What do you think of this? It's a ball. Big deal. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Something fishy about that guy. He didn't have anything that I needed. Time to talk to his wife. Well, who I assume Hello. is his wife. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just 
Well, it's certainly a delightful to meet you, George. There's your, I was, there's your husband. My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. <laughs> By the way, my husband's standing right behind you. <laughs> do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. Oh, sure, ask the woman about weaving. But not the man. I see what you're up to, George. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. <laughs> I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Oh, I bet she wants that cup. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. <laughs> a very little of it, apparently. I've been talking to your husband, Dwayne. Oh. Yeah, he tells me that he runs a greeting card company and you write the poems that go in them. Oh, yes, indeed. I consider myself the artiste of the family. Tell me, George, would you like to hear one of my poems? Hell yes. Yes, go on then. Okay then, darling, here we go. Our sympathy upon this time, when your heart doth break. I like the dot. Classy, isn't it? We know the grief that must entail, when your schnauzer gets bitten by a snake. Ah, it still touches me. What do you think, George? It's very specific, isn't it? <laughs> you think so? We sell a lot of those here. I guess, um, do, 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 do schnauzers often get bitten by snakes? <laughs> so, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always <laughs> so flattering. Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. He said it was Cleveland. Akron? Cute? Little? Hold on. Didn't Dwayne say they were from Cleveland? What was that, sweetness? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. More and more suspicious. I met your husband earlier. He's an interesting man. That's why I married him. You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines in Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. Oh, I'm no. so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. He probably is one. What does this mean to you? Gosh, is this some sort of psychological test? No. Oh. Well, in that case, it's a red ball. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Reminds me of my late Uncle Abner. Oh? Is he a clown? No, he was a drunk. <laughs> Have you seen this man before? You can be both. No. A friend of yours? No, not really. Have you ever heard of anybody calling himself Merlin? Merlin? No, Merlin. Merlin. There's an O in there. Moolin? You haven't, have you? No, darling. No Moolin. Oh, so there we go. Somebody, uh, somebody thought I was talking about Merlin. But we haven't, uh, mentioned it. We haven't met anybody who, like, specifically, uh, like, says, Oh, you mean King Arthur's wizard or whatever. Do you know what this is? Lord, no. It looks painful, though. It's a sewer key. Who'd want to break into a sewer? Me. <laughs> yes, it's Moolin. Moo. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You're a philomenist? Don't they have secret handshakes? 
Oh, George, now you're teasing. <laughs> I've got some plaster of Paris. That's nasty. <laughs> I liked her too much to zap her with the buzzer. Aww. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Oh, it's grease paint. I thought somebody had gaudy taste in makeup. <laughs> what do you think of this chalice? Now that's really pretty. What do you think? Now that. Okay. I thought I might, but might have to like sell it to her or like trade it to her in exchange for something, but guess not. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. I want to talk to her husband again. Hey, Dwayne, if that's your real name. Which it probably isn't. Hi there, Dwayne. <laughs> like, it's like. <laughs> Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? No, oh, nothing. Okay. It's okay. I Oops. Oh, oh well. I was thinking I, I, I could uh, call him on the whole Akron versus Cleveland thing, but guess not. I wasn't hungry and didn't want to buy fruit, so I didn't start a conversation. I want to buy fruit. The stand was selling some fruit I didn't recognize. This is what travel is all about. Roam the world and discover strange fruit. Agreed. <laughs> like papayas. Or mangoes. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. I'm getting flashbacks to um, Conquest of Camelot. Close up, I could see flies love kebabs. <laughs> Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Most cool. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, well, I can't talk to him about anything, but look at my inventory items. What do you make of this? Buy kebab. Most good. What do you think of this? Buy kebab? Come to the <laughs> Does this mean anything to you? No. No, you buy kebab. <laughs> I'd value your opinion on this, sir. La, you buy kebab. Nom? <laughs> nom nom. What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum. Most good. Most good. That's how it's going to want a maniac. Most good. <laughs> I'd value your opinion on this, sir. La. You buy kebab. Nom? What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum. Most good. <laughs> I'd value your opinion on this, sir. La. You buy kebab. Nom? What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum. Most good. I'd value your opinion on this, sir. La. You buy kebab. None? Okay, that's enough of that. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. <laughs> you haven't bought kebab yet. <laughs> Ooh, that door looks interesting. Anything else over this way? Uh, no. Okay. Can we go over to that door? Out of the way, Dwayne. Show <laughs> One side. I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Okay, fair enough. What about... Actually, uh, let's go in this door first, and then we'll go around there. Actually, I bet... Hang on. I wonder if it's going around. We'll just take me around the other side. Ah, oh, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so it looks like I'm stuck on this screen. Well, except for this other door. But let's see what's in the other door first. <laughs> nah, that's crazy talk. That can't possibly be what he wants. <laughs> oh, look at that dude. Shifty McGee over here. 
The carpet seller had an impressive collection of wares. If I had the time and the money, I might have bought a couple of rugs. You clearly have money, George. You're making all these airplane trips to other countries. I'm pretty sure you can drop some chain on a carpet if you were so inclined. Although, I mean, where are you going to keep it? The carpet seller looked craftier than the offspring of a fox and an insurance agent. <laughs> I'm going to save my game. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had neither the time nor the money to buy anything. Hi. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Where in the world is George Stobart? He is in Marib. In Syria. Where in the world is George Stobart? <laughs> that doesn't quite work. <laughs> Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes. Carpets, yes. What do you think of this? Lovely carpets, yes! Is this going to be another uh, most good you buy kebab situation? Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes, carpets, yes! That's true, yes, just stuff it in his pants. Because adventure game protagonist! <laughs> what do you think of this? Lovely carpets, yes! Shake hands. Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes! Nope. What do you think of this? Lovely! Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah! Give to me! Give to me! A la Oh, yeah, look at that. It matches his carpet there. Ah, alright. The carpet seller had an impressive... I thought that carpet looked uh, awfully animated. Neat. Ooh. Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? <laughs> you are a traveler, yes. Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. Yes, I am no. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. <laughs> I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. <laughs> I am Ultar. Taxi driver and luxury guide per excellent. Yes. This I had to hear. I do too. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. Is good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ulta. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. Aw, thanks, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Suspicious Bright Spot. <laughs> I think that's the name on TV Tropes, isn't it? I was surprised to see alcohol on open sale in Syria. Then I realized this wasn't really open sale. And then I realized they weren't even alcoholic drinks anyway. What were they? The club manager's bonhomie seemed forced. Looking at the place, I could understand that. This is definitely not what they meant when they said the joint was jumping. I don't know why, but I felt like I could trust this guy. Hmm. The outside of the ornate spittoon was beautiful. <laughs> the inside wasn't. <laughs> I haven't played uh, West of Loathing yet, but I understand there's a whole big thing about spittoons in that game. 
including the fact that you can pick one up and wear one as a helmet. <laughs> I hadn't felt the need to spit since I was 12. Good. The spittoon was nearly full. What did they sell here? Drinks or expectorants? Investigate all the Even if I'd wanted to spit, my mouth was too dry. Ooh, this calls for a, a, a green drink from Monkey Island 2. What is it? The Yellowbeard's Baby plus Blue Whale? You make a green drink. Sip it through a crazy straw. Makes your spit thick. You, talk to me. Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. <laughs> what? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, alrighty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Uh, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello again, friend. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. We could make noises. Hello again, Ultar. Great hellos, munificent foreigner and possible future client. <laughs> well, you never know. Would you mind talking to me? It's most agreeable. This is how Ultar learns such splendid English, yes? Yes. Excellent. Ooh, we got lots of things to ask him about. Uh, I've only got five minutes left of my stream, but let's go through this anyway. Woo! Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes. Ultar have met them. And? They most ungenerous. Ultar offer to show them wonders of countryside. They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar say, yes, of course. Nature is ancient. They say, no, anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? Fan belt older than Ozymandias. <laughs> but they gone. Good joke, Ultar. I like it. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheer up, matey mate. It might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at all. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon. Whatever that is. <laughs> this place is certainly hard to find. Oh, yes, it is most exclusive. The membership can be no more than... Hmm... Kind sir, what would you guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand? Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. <laughs> okay. What do you make of that boy in the market, Nejo? Nejo? Ha! Ayub's boy is too big for sandals. I speak splendid English and he laugh. He say, Ultar, you big ox, you split infinitive. <laughs> I say, I split your head if you stay still long enough. Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Pretty funny, yes? Hilarious! You should be on cable. <laughs> Silly Nejo. Splitting, infin splitting infinitives is, is actually quite acceptable. Because it uh, that's that's like just natural conversational cadence. If you insist on splitting your on never splitting your infinitives, you will sound very unnatural. I have played Techno Babylon, it was great. I loved it. Do you know anything about the Templars? Of course. Yes? What can you tell me? Great Sheba band of the 60s. Uh no, that's not really. Who put the bop in the bop, 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 bop? Yeah, eternal questions. Yes, exactly, Demonomaniac. Some of them still hold up, some of them do not. What does this grease paint stained tissue mean to you? Nothing. Why? What does grease paint stained tissue mean to you? <laughs> something something clown something? Nice, yeah, hope you enjoy it. It's good stuff. And basically anything by Wajdai Games or associated by them or associated with them is 
pretty much guaranteed to be a winner. What do you think of this ball? He is most splendid, mister. Look at this. Is a red ball with a hole in it. No, it's a clown's nose. Does clown know you have his nose? <laughs> I really hope not. Got your nose. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like this chalice? No. <laughs> All right. Shake my hand, Ultar. Ha <laughs> ha. Remind me of thing that happened month ago. Maybe six. Man come up to Ultar, say, shake hands, Ultar. But man have electric buzz thing in his hand. Ha <laughs> ha. How we laugh. Then I broke his arms. <laughs> I was going to say, then I punched him. <laughs> but he won up to me. <laughs> what do you think of this plaster? Not much there. Not enough to make tasteful garden gnome, for example. <laughs> this is a key for lifting manhole covers. You carry some strange stuff with you, mister. This is true. Have a look at this. Shiny. <laughs> Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My god, he's close. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. Uh, what else did he ask no. about? He asked about German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Altar said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. When was that? Oh, maybe a week ago. Maybe a month ago. Hmm, oh, all right. You're sure this was the man? Yes, indubitably. Okay, hold on. See you around, Ultar. Fare you most splendid, good sir. We're clearly going to want to go to Bull's Head. First, I want to go and I want to check out this door. Damn, the door's locked. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did Did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. Oh, there is a sign. Didn't even see that. My Arabic, Russian, and Japanese have a lot in common. I can't read a word of any of them. The notice didn't mean anything to me. No. Oh. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. Okay. I knew the door was locked. I'd need the key to get in there. Okay. I don't know why I want to go in there. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll ask about Bull's Head next week. Maybe go there. Maybe we'll uh, poke around here some more. I don't know. We'll see what's in store for us next time. But for now, it's about time for me to stop for the night. This was fun. I really enjoyed this session, and I think this was exactly what I needed. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and uh, hope it was a good distraction. And let's see, so yeah, thank you for watching everyone, thank you for coming by, always a pleasure. Let's see who's doing stuff right now. <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? Mm, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't raided Taco Salad in a while, and he's playing Disco Elysium, which I'm told is very good. So let's go hang out with him. Whoops! There, there it is. Yeah. Again, thank you everyone for coming by, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some Deadly Premonition. And uh, yeah, that should be fun too. And Wednesday for Reseteer, hopefully, uh, if I feel like it, because I didn't really feel like it last week for whatever reason. 
But yeah, um, this was cool. And thank you and take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Be good, be safe, be kind, all that good stuff. See you tomorrow.